Coach Annie here. I'm in my back patio. I've got my headphones in, so hopefully that helps with the sound. We've got a busy road right here, so it might be loud. And there's, of course, a dog barking. So hopefully it's not too loud for you and these help a little bit. Um, but I'm Coach Annie. I'm the coach trainer here for Tiny Troop Soccer. And I'm coming live every Friday to give you a game idea, something to keep your kiddos busy, or an activity, or some kind of tip. Um, and today I've got a really fun one that's outside because I'm hoping that you are getting starting to get some warm weather. Spring's coming. Um, I'm in California, so it's 75 today. Hope I'm not rubbing that into anybody that's having a colder day. Um, so I'm in my back patio and I've got something fun here on the ground. I hope you can see it. I will show you a little bit closer in a second, but um, I've got an obstacle course that I made out of chalk. Um, and so this is just so fun because you can have your kids be creative and coming up with whatever fun thing to do in the obstacle course. They'll love drawing it and then doing it. Um, and so I'll show you the one that I have here. Um, here, I'll flip my camera around so you can see what I've got. Well, we'll start down here and I'll show you. All right, so I've got our start right here, and then I've got a spinny thing or I'm gonna go in a circle. I've got some clouds I'm gonna fly through like an airplane. Here I'm gonna do five jumping jacks. I did a star because I'm gonna make a star with my body when I do that jumping jack. This one I'm gonna balance, and then I'm gonna jump like a kangaroo to these dots, and then I'm done. That's my obstacle course. Um, and so it, it was really fun to draw. There's lots of different ideas that you can do. So here I'll make sure I'll show you, I'll go through it for you so you can see what it would be like with your kiddos. All right, we're good. Here I go. I got my start right here and I'm going to spin around and then I'm going to fly like an airplane through my clouds. And then I'm going to do our jumping jacks. When we do these on Soccer Island, we tell our kids to be a star and then be a pencil. A star and a pencil. So I've got two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to balance on one foot for a few seconds. Whoa, a little wobbly. And then I'm going to jump like a kangaroo on all my circles. And I'm done. I did it. Super easy. I did a really small one here. If you have a big driveway, then that's great because you can spread it out really really wide to give them some more space to run, make the clouds longer, do more jumping jacks, whatever it is. Um, I'm out of breath just doing that one time. <laughs> so having your kiddos doing that a few times or having it longer or bigger will hopefully wear them out for you. Um, a few other ideas I have, you can do a classic hopscotch, of course, with jumping jack or with a chalk obstacle course. You can just add, throw that in as one of the things to do in the obstacle course. You can draw little bugs for the kids to squish and stomp on. You can do a, just a line where it's a balance beam that they have to balance on. You can do, tell them to touch their toes, to get a little stretch in there. You can have a dance move one. I saw one that was like, do the floss. I don't know if your kids know the floss, but you can have them do a dance move that they love or just a free dance. You can draw just a really crazy wiggly line and see if they can uh, see if they can run all around it or you can get their cars out and go on the line. Similar to like we did last week with the tapes idea. Um, so there's a fun, so many fun things that you can do with, with chalk, of course, on your, in your driveway. Um, on Soccer Island, we do obstacle courses. Um, every week with our twos they're just so fun um and yeah i all of a sudden this started playing in my ear i don't know why but there's my ideas for you and i'll talk to you later bye